Hey guys, this is Eckhart Slaughter. Hello and welcome to another video. So, way back in the day when I started covering Star Wars ships on YouTube, there was one ship that people always asked me to cover that I had never even heard of before. That was the Pride of the Core. The Pride of the Core claimed its fans was a star dreadnought used by the Galactic Republic during the Clone Wars and was specifically a Mandator class dreadnought that looked just like this. Pride of the Core now is up on the screen. So why hadn't I ever heard of this ship? What is the Pride of the Core? Well, that's what we'll be talking about today. And this is an interesting subject because this is one of those times where Star Wars fanon becomes so well known that people start to think that it's real. The Pride of the Core is not actually an official ship within the Star Wars continuity. It was, in fact, a fan-made design for the Mandator class by a very well-known Star Wars modder known as Evil Jedi. And there's others that helped as well and include their credits on the screen right Right now, the reason why when I started YouTube I wasn't familiar with the Pride of the Core is because by that point I hadn't really played a whole lot of Empire at War and certainly not the Empire at War mods that this ship appeared prominently in, including Awakening of the Rebellion and the various Clone Wars mods. And when I tell you that this ship was very, very popular, I'm definitely not over exaggerating. So popular, in fact, that the Pride of the Core actually somewhat made its way into Star Wars canon, but we'll get to that in a second. So, Evil Jedi and various other modders in the Star Wars Empire War community created a bunch of ships which would make their way into a ton of mods because they made the models and they released them for free and allowed other modders to use them. And that's why if you ever play Empire War mods, a lot of them just become basically asset repackaging, taking the models which other mods have created, inserting them into their mods, sometimes changing the stats around a little bit, and that's what you get for a lot of the mods, although not all of them. I think the Pride of the Core gained such prominence because, for one, the Mandator class is actually, at least in Star Wars Legends, a canonical ship type. The Mandator 1, 2, and 3 all existed in the Legends, of course, in canon. We also have the Mandator 4, but we never got a design for the ship, so it makes sense that somebody sees something that, you know, looks like it could be legit, and they assume that that's the real ship type. And of course, when you have the same ship, the Pride of the Core, appearing in a ton of Star Wars Empire pirate war mods for the past, you know, decade and a half, it makes sense that this becomes relatively entrenched in people's mind. But as I said, the Pride of the Core is not actually a real design for the Mandator. It was a fan design, an interesting one at that. But we do also see alternative ones. For example, Empire War Expanded just released a new Mandator model for their mods, which I do prefer, but to be fair, it's like 15 years newer, so it's not quite fair to compare. But of course, they do have some similarities. Of course, they look generally like early superstar destroyers. One thing we also do know about the Mandator line's visual appearance is that it somewhat resembles the Bellator and that it has a general humped back appearance. And they're a little less dangerous than something like an Executor or later class Super Star Destroyer. The story of the Mandator, by the way, is that it was actually a pre-Clone Wars Super Star Destroyer built at Kuat Drive Yards, largely to show off their engineering capabilities, but also to serve as a sector defense force, or at least as the crown in their sector defense force. Then as the Clone Wars ramped up, the Mandators were rearmed after the Rusan Reformation was lifted and thus became the Mandator 2s with some new ships likely being produced. And I think the models generally reflect that. Again, they don't have the same amount of firepower as something like a purpose-built Super Star Destroyer. They're also not quite that size either. They're like six to eight to maybe 10 kilometers long instead of the massive 19 kilometers we would expect from a Super Star Destroyer. Now, those are the basics. And I mentioned that the Pride of the Core sort of made its way into Star Wars canon. You guys are probably wondering, well, what does that mean? Do I mean the Mandator class? No, I actually mean Evil Jedi's pride of the core model itself and when i said that his design for the mandator was ubiquitous online well i wasn't exaggerating it appears back when covers were being made for the star wars age of resistance comics that the artist who was trying to obviously trace the mandator capital ship like the mandator 4 from episode 8 instead googled mandator and ended up tracing the pride of the core so we see in this shot with hux that the mandator is there evil jedi's model the pride of the core not a great look for star wars because not only are they tracing fan art but they're tracing fan art of a non-canon ship design so there's that 
it was extra funny because it was used for the puzzle piece cover, which is sort of like the collectible comic edition. Anyway, that was fixed before the comic went to print. Sort of, at least. They replaced most of the Pride of the Cores with the Resurgent Class Star Destroyer. However, if you look, there is one that remains in the corner, which is super funny. So that's my coverage of the Pride of the Core. Very interesting ship. I think it looks good in Empire War at the time, but it definitely does lack just because of the technological limitations of when the ship was designed. I'm sure Evil Jedi, who's a great modder who did lots of models for various things, would improve it if he took another shot at it today. But I do think it's got a very interesting side profile, especially it looks almost like a Mon Calamari ship, which is definitely very different than what we get with most SSEs. But guys, that's all I have for today. Until next time, be safe, have a good one, and may the Force be with you.